Does this cart work? <laughs> Did Eternal it ever? question. I do want to check once more. That's not the one that fixed I itself, it. is it? Yeah, it's not. Man, I don't know where the other dragon cart went. Did I throw it away? We can only hope. What did you say, Mecca? I said, is this the mega bad cart? This, I, the one? I think this is the one that the Minotaur <laughs> used. I love it. That applied like a live patch? Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure for all of the other runs that I did, um, I used a loose copy of Dragon, and this one was in the box. We'll see. <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. I expect only the finest. Okay, well, it's gonna take a thousand years to roll the characters because, um. Oh! Shit! This. This is the copy that got memory clobbered. Oh, dear. Uh -oh. File one it. new is the one that got deleted by Dragon View. Huh? <laughs> won't. Between, Just don't question it. Between, between attempts of the grand memory clobber, um, I would I would boot up a different game and let a different game play for a bit because Omni was saying like when he was doing Hagane runs, um, there'd be like some lingering dirty RAM even after power cycling. Oh yeah yeah. Um, oh god, Dragon View must have been a fucking mess on your SNES. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I would like switch with Plock or Goof Troop or something else. Um, and for one day I was using Draken because I liked the title screen music. And uh, it had two files on it, file one and file two here. And one of the times I booted up Draken and file one got deleted. Oh, nice. From the, the dirty RAM from a different game. <laughs> so. Just finishing the job. Yep. That was that was nice. All right, well, I guess we'll use file one. It's already been through Grand Memory Clobber. How much worse can it get? That's a dangerous question. Do your worst, Draken. All right, first character is traditionally the fighter. That's gonna be Mecha. Mecha's gonna spend most of this game dead. Two 18s, huh? Hell yeah. <laughs> Maximum roll on two stats off the bat. Dead, you say? <laughs> if the you game good cool. stats. You'll still be dead, but These are good fucking stats. huge numbers. 18, 12, 13, 14, 18. Yeah, yeah. what the fuck? The lowest number is... Is 12? Average. I'd be happy with a 12. And 1,700 coin. Damn, that was a sick roll. All right. Class two is the priestess. This is the one that's important, so I'm ready for all the garbage. <laughs> the, the fortune four again, or whatever? 10, oh, 10, 13, 14, 9, 17? We'll try and, try and re-roll that. Five? Is that a five? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can oh, five. You can get a five. I thought six was <laughs> six was the worst. Well, I'm assuming these are D and D stats, which means basically it's the sum of three dice. So in theory, you could roll a three. It might be four dice drop one. Oh hmm. So yeah. yeah, in theory, if that's correct, then in theory you can roll a three. All right, this is a much better roll. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty sick stat line, actually. Okay. Um, so the important ones are agility. Fortune seven is a shame. <laughs> that, that is a pretty shame. 
because I can't I can't allocate a number to that one, and that's my luck stat, so. Yep. All right. I think it was 13 before the last roll. Yeah, it was. Um. I love it. So I think Kludge is going to be attacking things instead of trying to roll antimatter. All right, Scout. Scout is going to be me. Because I'm also going to be dead this run. I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in that. Wow, you're going to have me doing things? 17 or fortune. Damn. Wow, yeah, you rolled like a monster there. Lucky wow. as hell. All right, Murph is a magician. I love it. I love it. I'll give you some exclamation marks. Sweet. Nine, seven, five. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> good fortune, though. Yeah, fortune, really though. good, really good fortune. I'm gonna keep that actually. Nice. Uh, <laughs> God, <laughs> fucking five. What do we gonna even do with this? You don't need intelligence or no, you don't really need anything. I do like that you'd never seen a five before, and you got two this second. It'll give you power and agility. That seems like the right stats for a magician. Five? Yeah, that seems correct. <clears throat> Alright. Begin game. I like the begin again option. Yeah, just, I did all this, just, just throw it in the garbage, start again. <laughs> yeah, I fucked up. <laughs> So my favorite part of this game is when Mecha started, and I was like, make sure you save as the first thing you do. And he's like, what? And while he's trying to figure out the menu, an enemy showed up and party wiped him. I love it! <laughs> yeah, I love didn't, it. Uh, didn't I get aggroed, like, while I was in the menu? It. Yeah. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do is drown Mecha and I, because we're, <laughs> we're a liability. Oh, you're leaving it to Team Iowa. Yep. That's a shame. I love it. I, I love, love it. it. Team Iowa Nut. All right. Attack magic strength. So we need Murph to reach level two um, at some point in this game. Um. Because level 2 teaches you the unlock spell. And that's required to enter one of the dungeons. Um, I'm also having Murph grab some shit to sell. Because we need cash. Like, there are these torches here that I feel like I should just be able to grab. But. Alas. There's nothing I can take. Okay, so, now we make the long walk. This is where things get hairy. PJ is dead, yes, I know. You just had to check, huh? <laughs> With this game, yeah, you gotta, you gotta make sure. Alright, let's see, so east is this way. Um, so we're gonna kill stuff along the way. We wanna kill, uh... Spiders? Because spiders drop the best equipment, which is baffling to me and kind of concerning. <laughs> um, I love it. I love it. And then the heavily armed lizard people also have uh, also have equipment that I'm interested in. I do love the way enemies explode when you kill them. Yeah, just explode into pieces all over the screen. <clears throat> um, combat in this game is not good. Um, I'm gonna be saving a lot in this walk. This is like our, our first main grind. Let's see, east was this way again, I think? Let's just double check. That's south, yep, see? Oh yeah. That was the other part I remember about this game, is you're wandering around and you just... It, as a casual observer, it's completely incomprehensible. Yeah, everything looks the same. Um, you have basically no visual cues. You can kind of orient based on the mountains. Um, that. 
I think my favorite thing is like when you go into the pause menu, if you're near water, you can just draw on yourself. Yeah. Or yep. like when you're near water and a wandering merchant shows up and your party walks on screen and starts drowning while the merchant's like, Hello there, fine travelers. <laughs> Would you like to hear hear the story of my tra No, stop. Would you like a life jacket? We're drowning, <laughs> please go away. <laughs> Morning, nerds. All right, this guy. Wow, you're awake. Oh. Yeah, dude. I said Look who it is. What's up, Clay? I'm not gonna miss track. Are you kidding me? This is gonna be the best part of the entire marathon. Murph got short yeah, sword. They, PJ left it up to you and me, so. Uh... Short sword PJ, is nice. The first roll PJ rolled on your character, he got a five. Hell yeah. Yeah, five is hella low. Your final luck stat ended up being seven, which is extraordinarily bad. So. We're kind of fucked. I'm gonna probably have to rely on you punching bosses to death. Spider, nice. Give me your stuff. Oh, Earth so reach level like two. Time. Good. Wasn't my luck like six last time? Isn't this technically better? Was it six last time? Mm -hmm. I think you got a six and rerolled it. I got into a battle while saving, so I'm excited for this dirty, dirty ram. Spider just it's ended tall. him. <laughs> Didn't even do damage, just killed him. <laughs> That's what you get for killing me. Um, he used your best roll on a dead guy. We got into the battle while saving. Alright, so Murph still has his level. <laughs> I, was, I was ready for surprise ram corruption. Good video game. Alright, rematch, bitch. Oh, oh no! <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> All right. Well. Uh, I see. I see on that guy. All right. Two out of three. I mean three out of five. Murph's, I mean Murph's, three. Murph's dead. Um, yep. We're gonna have to revive him on the return trip. I'll have Clage fight the big biggest fucking dude at the bar. Tink, 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 tink. Got him. Oh boy. <laughs> Got him as game over show. Uh, this is this is the dragon I remember. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I do have to fight things so I can sell stuff for cash. Um. But Spider is not interested. Spider is interested in my things and is farming me for cash. Implying your money is going to be good anywhere ever. I found the warp, but not the dungeon. <laughs> Should we take the warp? I, I really like the warp music. I mean, I won't stop you. Partially because I can't. Oh dear. All right. <laughs> well, it's nighttime, which means we're about to have all of our shit broken. Yo, goodbye. <laughs> Um, so cash, we have two short swords, they sell for 5,000. There are two more, or we have three short swords. There are two more in the first dungeon. 25,000, we need to get up to 35 at least. Dagger is not what I want. That person doesn't have any items. Oh, give. <laughs> Give. Oh my god, these menus. Give to clutch. Give to clutch. Give to clutch. Don't worry, I'll make good use of it. So, the important thing is that I haven't gotten a torch, and that is the one thing I absolutely need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the pregame talk of, I need to find a torch no matter what, is uh, encouraging. There's the Revival House. Ah, Knack. Of course the Revival House is run by a bottom tier character. Alright, goodbye, Murph. Yup. Yep, yep, see ya. Run, 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 run. Instead of running this game, you mash the L and R buttons. 
Oh yeah, that's um, right. Sometimes 3D World Runner enemies just show up. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I saw the like squiggly. Um, what's that game? Whatever the thing. I thought it was Bread Snake again, and then I was just dead. Bread Snake. Ideally, we kill this guy and get... Alright, power helmet. <clears throat> that should sell for cash. I forgot. Strength is, has an extra TH on it. Uh... Wow. Huh. Murph just not fucking around. Nope. I'm, I'm not trying to leave, dude. I'm trying to go back. <laughs> Stop it. Oh my god. Your body won't allow you to leave this area. Yes, I know. <laughs> Alright, well, time to go back to Anak. going just swimmingly. Yeah, we're off to a bit of a rough start here. We did get a longsword from him, which is nice. Um, longsword sells for cash. I don't know, I feel like if Draken is still actually running, that's, a, that's an okay start. Oh god, please don't die to spider, you idiots. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why is Spider so strong? <laughs> Never underestimate Spider. Didn't I give you 17 agility and power? Probably. Uh, I thought my power was one of the ones you gave me like five in. I gave you five physique. Five physique. What did the seven go in? Uh, knowledge. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Intelligence and knowledge I know we're low. Yeah, I tanked those. You don't need those stats. All right, well, um, the good news is we potentially have enough money to beat the game. The bad news is our luck is absolute shit garbage tier. <laughs> so. All right, don't worry, though. PJ and Mecca are here to help. That's exactly why I'm worried. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Valid. Hey, wow. Clutch that has leveled. Yes. And learned heal. That's nice. We didn't get a drop because Clutch's luck stat is zero. <laughs> well, at least I can heal spider boo boos now. <laughs> we roll for drops and we end up giving the dead enemy our gear. Hell yeah. Yeah, it, it seems like we'll be able to heal, heal spider boo-boos, but the issue is that spider kills us in a single frame, so we don't have time to react to damage. Wow, that guy knew what was up. Alright, spider. Rematch. Murph beat the shit out of him. Wow. That spider had the war ring, wow. so he was, he was the chief. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Oh, here's the Murphigator. Oh, sweet. All right, yeah, we're gonna have to actually look for a torch in the shop, which is um, unfortunate. Hey, wandering merchant. All right, he doesn't have. Power helmet is worth only that much, huh? <clears throat> I love that they decided to make a music entirely out of adults chalking in Charlie Brown. <laughs> Sell all their I'm, shit. I'm you gotta stick with it. I mean, when people complain about, like, certain menus and RPGs, I just show them this game. Okay, the good news is we do have the bare minimum amount of money that we need. Um, and we're gonna be getting some more cash here, too, so... Um, it, it is unfortunate we're going to have to try to buy a torch in the shop. 
It's like the most common drop in the game, but we didn't get one. You spent too much time talking about it. Where is the place? The oh, place just... is definitely somewhere you can find in Dragon. Yeah. I love the <laughs> pile of mud enemy. It's my favorite one. Is that the one that can do just like fall into and drown? No, that's all of these. Oh, okay. All right, time oh, for oh, Mecca yeah, to cross the bridge. Do, do, do. Oh, don't worry. I got this. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'll never how fucking, fucking forget. Ridiculous it looks. I'll never forget Moat Shark. <laughs> never. You can never forget Moat Shark. Uh, you forget Moat Shark, then bad things happen to you. How the fuck do you cross that? I love how it's like half a frame of animation, too. I'm just like, how yeah. Like, there are torches all over the wall, but you can't take them. No, but you can take the fucking swords off the wall, which is something you can't do in, like, 99% of RPGs. Yeah. Like, those are candles in the background. I can't take those. They're not lit anyways. Sick bed, though. Alright. Alright. Time for the miracle. No, not yet. No, oh, no, that's not that one. That's right. That's a different one. Eventually, we have to go fight him, but not yet. All right, it's time to go to the bar. Hell yeah. Um, I think I just take this road. There should be a drunk guy that stumbles up to me. He's like, don't go to that bar. They suck. Actually, it's my favorite bar. Do you want to buy me a drink? This is just bad pilot wings right now this place right here. Music's really good, though. I don't know how you remember any of this shit. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you sell items. Nope, you sell weapons. You sell weapons. Alright, you buy items. Thiefy staff! Perfect. Oh, PJ shoot. is dead. Uh, clutch. <laughs> just, just a reminder. <laughs> Are you just like carrying our corpses around? Yeah. Hey, uh, PJ over here wants to buy something. <laughs> Sir, he's dead. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, Thiefy's staff is uh, super nice. That is a thing that I want. Um, Murph has a key for some reason. I'm not really sure when you got that. <laughs> I will question it. Yeah. So the issue. It's the one you turn. It's the uh, <clears throat> holder you turned into a key. Oh yeah. I've been holding on to it all this time. Wait, there's the holders in this game. So I don't know if I can actually buy a torch in this shop. Because it always has HP and MP files. And then a staff and a ring or heart, I think. So, am I going to farm for a torch? Um, Most common item, you say? Yeah, I genuinely don't know where to find one. <laughs> I realized... It's so common that I can't find it anywhere! <laughs> yeah, I realized it yesterday during during the practice. Yeah, I actually might have to... I might have to revive me. I think Scout learns Light at level 2. I think. All right, we should be heading north now. <clears throat> A hard um, time believing nobody in this world has torches that they can sell. There are only like eight people in this world. The rest of them are dragons. Oh, true. 
and two of them are dead. Get a Three torch of off the wall guy. in the first room of a dungeon? I'll try. I was trying to pull torches off the wall in, in a lot of the rooms. Oh, great. The Murphigator shows up to drown him. Oh, no. <laughs> wow, he made it. What a hero. I love the, oh, you're crossing this tiny-ass piece of land? Time for a battle where the first and fourth party members get drowned. Mm-hmm. All right, so this place should be over here-ish. Go, go away, go away, Gator. Go away, go away, go, shoot. <laughs> you can't just shoo him, you gotta bait him away with chicken. That's why I have these two dead party members. <laughs> Go away, Gator. You wanna? Do you wanna scout? Nice, tasty scout. I guess you throw one of our corpses in the water to make the Gator go away. All uh, right. Yeah, there isn't a uh, there isn't a torch on these walls. I honestly forget this game has a freaking map because I just assume it wouldn't be. It doesn't. Light helmet, that's not a torch. I don't know where to find it, man. There's a torch here. That I can't take. I forget, is this the original version of this game? Or was it for no. a compu Japanese computer? Version? It was DOS. I like these two DOS? doors, SN wow. and SC. SN and SC. Scandium and Tin, I guess. Wow, I can't believe you remember that element. <laughs> like, there's this red dot, but this is a key, I think. Or, nope, it's just nothing. <laughs> it goes away when I walk behind it, though. Oh, the way when you walk behind it, not in front of it. Yeah. These aren't torches. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to revive PJ, and have PJ get a level, so I can light up the room and then drown him. All right, this is the magical the magical room. Let's see if this cartridge is broken or not. This is gonna determine whether we hit estimate. Okay. It's not broken. So I'm gonna stand here. This this game's fucked up. Um so, Don't say <laughs> Um When you enter a new room, whatever character you're controlling at the time gets experience points. Just a one time bonus for exploring or something. Um but in this room, it gives you the one-time bonus every frame. <laughs> so you can just stand here, and Clutch has 100,000 experience now. <laughs> um, so we're going to stand here for a while. Until he's at um, probably 200,000 experience. That'll be enough to get him to, like, level 12. Um... So levels are going to be levels in, innately just like literal hours upon hours of grinding. Yeah, it would be, it would be, it would be awful. Um, I think after after we get the experience here, I'm going to exit out of the dungeon and then save. Um, I'll learn resurrect at like level five or six or something. No, six is speed, but resurrect is somewhere around there. Um, but you don't actually get the levels. From this, you get experience, and then to level up, you need to hit a monster. Uh, and there's a good chance that when I try and hit a monster, I die. So, um, just no. just so we don't have to sit around in that room for another few minutes, I'm just gonna leave and save. I went in to study and learn, and then I lied about all the things I learned so I could opt out of the test. 
Yep. Truth. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's supposed to be a bat in here. So that's exactly why we do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, here comes Clutch to save the day. <laughs> clunk, 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 dead. Oh, God. Just please what kill Murph. Doing? I don't want to reset. I, I would rather that you just kill me so I can reload the file that way. Murph is probably going to be a god and pummel this guy, though. Good dance! What? <laughs> <laughs> Please, one of you. Please, please, one of you die. Nice dance. What did you fuck? gain health from that hit? Jesus, you did damage and died on the final one. Okay, I'm I'm ready this time. Oh shit! This I love it. Game, dude. Incredible. All right. I'm gonna have Claude use invisibility on himself, <laughs> so he Ooh, maybe well. has a chance of surviving a hit. I don't even need him to win the fight. I just need him to punch him and not die, <laughs> not break his fist so hard he bleeds out. <laughs> That's what you get for trying to have me fight a bat. Tough fight. I did it. I'm a champion. Oh god. I love it. I love it. Oh that's right. You don't you can't even gain multiple levels per hit, can you? It no. has to be each time. How am I gonna win this game if this is how it's going? <laughs> uh, tink, I tink, think tink. that's what happens when you shut the power off to the console. Mm hmm Learn speed, learn heal major. Got him. This guy back? He's not. Do we try and rematch the bat? No, we don't, is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> no. Bat's smart. <laughs> no salty run packs for you. Here's a guy. This isn't an enemy, he's a messenger. Even though it triggers combat. <laughs> oh god. What a mess. Why couldn't they just drop a torch for me? Why can't I just steal the torches off this wall? They're stapled. This fireplace, if the room was lit, you could see, but I love it. the fireplace uh, has, like, some soot, or maybe it's a bat, um, that, like, squeaks, and it will kill you if you get close. Well, it'll fight you. I also like, like, these weird fingertips in the back of this room. Yeah, that giant oh. hand, question mark. It's an awfully bright room with some torches on the wall. It would be nice if I could take one. Um, so this is, um, this is an encounter that I like. No, dropping six, sick beats over there, though. Oh, God. Okay. Time to revive PJ, this dipshit. <laughs> what can I give him? I can give him a helmet. PJ is not in this room. Where is PJ? <laughs> he is at the start. I revived him back to Murph just to fuck with Murph. <laughs> Where is this? Like, right. like, all right, PJ, go ahead and work on spooky ghost mode. Well, at least I can heal him from across the planet. Oh, Jesus. I hope I learn light at level... I'm gonna die on the walk here. Wow, that took mercy. Um. God, 
God, it's so. If I had the torch, we could have just we could have just gone, but but no, no, we can't. We can't have nice things. True. The, the question is, when PJ goes into this room and dies immediately. <laughs> Um, am I going to be able to revive him in this room again? Or is he going to spawn back at the start again? <laughs> How has anyone ever actually gone through this game organically? They haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're almost there, PJ. Soon you can die. All right, now, now we can give him this stuff. Give him this sword. Give him this helmet. Heavy grass. I'm excited for you to go through this, through all this effort, and then the next enemy that you fight in the game, after doing whatever you're doing to avoid needing the torch here, drops the torch. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm probably gonna reach level two, learn the light magic, and get a torch from the same, the same thing. <laughs> there we go. Wow, that thing got blasted. Oh, never mind. His back. There's level two. I guess Clage wanted to fight again, so <laughs> we're gonna fight again. Man, this is a good wiggle drawn gift. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh no. Nice. Yep. Oh there it god. Is. God, if only we could green screen most of that. Get P get PJ a clean. I mean it's pixel art, it's not that hard to That's true. That's nope. true. Oh what the fuck? I forgot about evil wave monster. There's nothing unusual. Alright, what about here? There's still nothing unusual. Where the fuck is this switch? It's in front of me. Yeah, but it's not unusual. Oh, God. There's nothing I can take. It's too fucking dark. I used the light and it worked for one room and then the lights went out. Please don't drown during this walk. Please, God. <laughs> Are you fucking oh, serious? I... Is light just, I'm carrying a torch around? <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> Please, hit the fucking switch. Oh my god. He just pulls a fucking lighter out. Sippo? Clage is too dumb to use the fucking stick on the wall. <laughs> Jesus. You can't you can't see it because I'm invisible, but I'm just making Frank or Y face over there. <laughs> Stick? <laughs> Alright, PJ, give me your stuff. <laughs> you idiot. Mecha is dead, I know. Give it to Kludge. Oh, good lord. Alright, now the run can begin. <laughs> we did it. We set up the game. All right, start timer. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. So now we've got to go north. We've got to go to... Uh... Oh, man, new biome. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> new biome, indeed. <laughs> new biome. <laughs> and it's polluted. Ah, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Afro Sigma. <laughs> Yo, thanks, Afro. Um, yeah, this is Mr. Pots and Pans' land. Oh, yeah, that guy. Um, so the good news is we learned Resurrection. Um, so the other two idiots don't actually have to be alive. We just need Kludge to not immediately die all the I time. Love I love it. Instructions unclear. Dying. Heard heard only one word. Yep. I'm dying. Alright, so it's I somewhere... I slipped on the triangle oil slick and broke my neck. 
I found it. Oh my god. New record for navigation. Wow. Alright, do we go west here? I can't remember if it was this time or or the PLC a thon before that where you took literally like fifteen minutes to find this fucking place. Yeah, finding just anything. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Harpy. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh wow, I'm not. Shocking. <laughs> A strange turn of events. <laughs> <laughs> the single tank, he's like, fuck this, I'm out. Tink. Uh, what is that place? The bar? Yeah, Mecha's stats are godlike. It's like 18, <laughs> 18, 18, 15, 13, 12. Yeah, I'm just hoarding everything. I'll just be taking these and <laughs> yeah. buy. Mecha's holding on to the stats for when we need them later. Oh, fuck. The spider's here. He's like, yo, I hear you got some items. <laughs> do, you, do you have a war ring for me? <laughs> Alright, so the visual cue you use here is that the game stops lagging. When, <laughs> when you get to this area... And that's Good. when you know to start spinning the camera around to find the thing. This is the easiest place to find. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, wow, you really just zip around there, huh? It's baffling. All right. Is this, like, the only place in the game that doesn't lag the whole time? I believe so. Wow. Um, so the thiefy staff that we got from the, the first trip to the bar is super handy here. Because um, it's just a permanent unlock. Um, any doors that are locked uh, aren't locked when you have Thiefy Staff equipped. In this area, this is the castle that uh, Dragon Dark and I used to call the Locked Door Castle because <laughs> it's like a dozen or so doors that are locked. It is a pain in the ass. They're humans! They're humans! Villains, I will not allow you to leave. We just kind of run past all this shit. I don't Didn't really it. care. I love it. <laughs> I don't think we have to fight anything in this one. I think we just go here and talk to the person. I honestly don't even know what side we're on. I feel like every time we talk to these people... Um... I guess she was captive and we freed her. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. You know. But, like, we have to go back in that place to kill somebody. The dude that we were talking to at the beginning of the game, who, uh, who we helped, uh, we have to go back and kill at some point later. All of them have basically identical names, so I- Hey, Mr. Pots and Pans! Oh, no. Do we want to fight him? Uh, nope! Bye! <laughs> well... I'm sorry, sir. You asked a stupid question, and you got the right answer. It's what's, what's what you get for playing bad Galaga. <laughs> Just single laser beam to the dome. <laughs> Joke's on him. That's what I wanted him to do. <laughs> he killed the dead weight for me, so now the game lags less or something. <laughs> Yeah, shoutouts to Dragon Dark, one of the truly mad people willing to speedrun this game. Yep. I think he picked the game up after I played it. He's like, this seems fun. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Dark's definition of fun is, um... Wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Dragon Dark's good people, but he does willingly run this and Deadly Towers. <laughs> I think the I place think I want to... Oh, oh God, it's Pots and Pans' brother! Oh, God. What? Pans and Pots? Pans and Pots with a sword. Alright, let's see here. This, I think, is just a person. 
Nope, it's a castle. I wouldn't even call Athena a game, honestly. Which one, the NES game? Either? Yes. Oh, it's it's a tech yeah. demo, except the tech demo was released by Nintendo's competitors. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, you like the NES? All this right, is what it. it's capable of. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, when you talk to this person, she gives you a weapon, um, the dragon sword, which is pretty nice weapon. Let's see what else we can drop here. Drop that. Um, but if you talk to her again, you just keep talking to her. She's like, hey, I'll give you this weapon. Uh, and she'll just keep giving you dragon swords. <laughs> like, hey, I lost mine. All right, I'll give you this weapon. Okay, I, dro I look, dropped it. Dragon this is like a pile on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Can you give me another one? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, God, where's west? This way? All right. So now we have to go kill a guy, mm -hmm. which is not our specialty. The constellations are like, kill a guy? <laughs> I want to Purdue. I can do that. Bang. Oh, I thought that was going to be it. I, I'm <laughs> stunned. Um, so this boss is the most difficult one, I think. Um... So there are two ways that you can kill enemies. You can either slap them with your sword and die. No, oh god, stop drowning! Oh no. No! Please! <laughs> I think that cancels my speed. Um, yeah, you can either slap them with the sword and probably end up dying, or um, you can use antimatter, which is an instant death spell. Um, but the hit rate's pretty terrible. Oh, hi, Wandering Merchant. Yeah. You can buy this dragon sword. <laughs> 25... 250,000 jade? Hell yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Give me that shit. <clears throat> Is that for one sword? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Yeah, seriously. What else do we have? Alright, we have six stacks of potions. We are fine now. I was going to say, we're a little bit low on potions, so we're going to have to try and slap one of these bosses to death, which is a shame with Kludge's fucking zero fortune stat. Um, so instead, we're going to just try and roll instant death on them. Um, and we have many, many tries at this, which is good, because it's going to take many, many tries. Uh, this was left button, I think? <clears throat> Why do these lizards always sound like they have a worse hairball they're coughing up? Because they do. Oh. Good observation. All right, so we did a, a bit of a position buffer there. There's a trick here where if you're standing completely so oh, holy shit, what? Huh? Get Sean. Get off his lawn? <laughs> Stats are for chumps. That might be the fastest I've ever seen that kill. <laughs> Normally it's like five or six <laughs> potions. All right, well, he's fucking dead now. <laughs> Time for a spider to just come and finish the job, though. <laughs> Alright. Um, so we gotta go back and report what we've done to that person. At this rate, by, like, the 20th PLC-a-thon, I'm going to have negative fortune stat, and that thing's going to die before you walk in the room. Yeah. True. <laughs> Some of the other bosses are really easy, um, and you can... Like, pretty safely just use strength, unarmed except for Dragon Sword, and just stab him. Uh, but we have a million, a million H, uh, MP potions, so we're just gonna antimatter all of them. I know better than to, to trust combat in this game. <laughs> I think someday I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to 
do a deep dive and figure out the mechanics, figure out what's going on behind the scenes, and that'll be the saddest few days of my life. Few, few days implying you could figure out the deep dive of Dragon in less than a year. It's gonna be like, oh, I found I found the damage calculations, and, and then it, instead of using the value that it calculated, it just pulls a random ass number out and uses mm -hmm. that instead. It should be around one of these roads, shouldn't it? Over here. Okay, let's see. Now I think we go to the the desert. And I think we have bad daytime, so we're going to have to wait for about five minutes. I love how the outside of this place is like a pagoda, and inside is just exactly the same gang-ass <laughs> yeah. castle as before. Yeah. Would you go to her castle in the southwest? Yeah. All right. All right. Now we have to go to Dawn Castle. We have just about the worst possible daytime here. Um. Oh, Centaur. Um. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna have to wait for a long ass time. But that's okay. We're forty five minutes in. I'm feeling pretty good about estimate. I think we'll be able to hit it. The harpies want a piece. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my curse. <laughs> I, would, I would fight them, but their head would just pop off, and then they would yeah, kill Murph. I... <laughs> you, have, you have Kludge in the party. Of course the harpies want a piece. I, I like that we have this 80-year-old man with no clothes on our team, and they're still attacking the fully armed priestess. Mm-hmm. Why are you just dragging around two dead bodies? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here, sir. I, Why are the bodies naked? I we found need them. Sell their clothes. <laughs> Shut up. I I they found them like, like this. <laughs> Do, 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 do. The fuck was that? Don't worry about him. <laughs> I'm that go? Interesting tent. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> that is sure that is, a tent. That is just uh, that is ah uh, MS paint tent, my favorite kind of tent. <laughs> Stained glass tent. <laughs> Where is this place, dude? Well, we have a full day to walk around and try and find it. This is a lag-free area. Oh. Yeah. oh, God, you went fucking light speed. Lag-free, you say. <laughs> <laughs> the map is, like, almost entirely useless, too, because when you look at it, it'll say, like, it's right next to you, but it's still far away, or vice versa. Yeah. So it's kind of just like... Uh, a general thing to look at. I feel like if I step on that, affect anything in this game, like, or are they just there for purely decoration? What's that? Do the ground tiles affect anything if you get into combat on them, or are they just like, cool, you're in, you're on the black square now? If you get into combat on them, no. Yeah. All right, this door is locked because it's <laughs> daytime. We have to wait through the night until dawn. I like how you blame it on daytime and not these people knowing who is walking <laughs> up to the door. Uh, <laughs> sir? <laughs> sir, there's a naked magician dragging two dead naked guys with him. <laughs> yeah, we should probably just close the gate. <laughs> nah, it's alright. We'll just wait till nighttime and then. <laughs> Hello, friends. We're a traveling theater troupe. <laughs> Can you, like, move your dresser so we can come in? No. <laughs> <laughs> like, what fuck kind of door is this? <laughs> yeah, <I don't... laughs> Shut the dresser right in front of the door. 
Yeah, that's that's a fair question. <laughs> I mean, jokes on them. We could just go up and open the drawers and start going through their shit. Yeah. What are we gonna do with clothes, though? Hmm. So use them, use them to pay off the alligator, so we can go through the moat. The alligator knows better than to accept bribes. <laughs> That's where, not true. Where do I go after this? I think the locked door castle, I think. And then the drawbridge. And then the castle that I'm, I can only enter backwards. Oh yeah, that thing. <laughs> I don't I don't know what cart this is, so I don't know how to enter that castle. We're just going to have to try a bunch of different things. I know in one of my copies, like... I think Dragon Dark has to enter it by facing east, but I have to enter it by like facing north and walking backwards into the door. <laughs> but my other copy is yet a different third direction. Amazing. Oh, you have to be facing northwest. All right, yeah, we'll we'll see. I I really don't remember what cart uh, cart this is. Do 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 <laughs> Gonna save again just because I'm pretty sure the moment I drop my controller or walk away, someone's gonna show up and kill me. Spider's just standing around the corner, <laughs> pounding his right. fists together. Just waiting like I'm coming for that ass. Yeah, I've only got seven war rings. I think he's got an eighth one. <laughs> Gotta take it from him. I've watched you play this probably half a dozen times now, and it's incredible how little of this game I remember every time you play it. Same. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's one of those games you just have to, like, mentally force yourself not to think about, or else you'll just be in constant pain. Mm-hmm. Uh, Reno, that was me. That was... I think it might be this copy, but... The experience glitch worked, so I'm not sure. But yeah, for, for one of the the marathons that I did with Fiesel years ago, um, I played this on the Minotaur, and suddenly none of the glitches worked. Mm-hmm. I remember that. What did you even do to finish that? Um, Bru that Bru forced it, didn't you? That coffin so. dude in the, the castle where I had to level up PJ? Mm-hmm. Um, he gives a shit ton of experience, and he's pretty easy to kill. Oh, okay. So I just grinded on that for ten minutes or so. Wait, you actually have backup strats for this game? That's what my strat was before the experience glitch was found. Oh. So it was pretty easy to revert back to it. I think you ended up finding that by accident just by being in that room, too, didn't you? Dragon Dark found it. I, I had no clue. Oh. I don't know how he found it. I don't know whoever pays attention to their experience in this game, or knows where to find their experience. <laughs> do, 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 do. Sure wish this game had an advance to daytime spell like Breath of Fire. <laughs> Too bad. Honestly, this segment sums up the game really well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like most of these dungeons have gimmicks to enter them. The Moat Shark one is just, oh, we'll just wait until he swims past you, which doesn't really make sense, but... Um, yep, there's that one. There's the other castle that you have to use the unlock spell on. A key doesn't work, but the unlock spell works. Uh, there's this castle where you have to wait until dawn. And then the other castle where you have to do whatever magic Mother 3 dance in front of it to get inside. Is it possible? I guess you'd probably be able to find a staff or something that would cast unlock, but you could have a party that couldn't cast unlock then, couldn't you? You'd have to revive them. Magician learns it at level 2 and Scout learns it at 4. Um, so yeah, you'd need one of them to learn it. 
I have the staff, the thiefy staff, as you unlock staff. Um, and keys also unlock, but you need the actual unlock spell for that one. Hmm. Alright, come on, door. Open up. Knock, knock. I'm excited for this to just never open. <laughs> it's just like, no, dude, we put the treasure here for real. We're not. You are not coming in here. You've got to come out for socks someday. <laughs> Nobody's home. All right. And after all that, everybody's dead. Do I remember where to even go in this place? Doubtful. I think this is one of the castles that has the dude that doesn't do damage but just paralyzes you. So you have to stand there and watch him dance. I think, I think this is the place. This place was designed by the guy who found the spray paint can in Mario Paint. It was like, oh my god, this yeah. is the best shit ever. <laughs> my favorite color is brown. <laughs> Art is my passion. Oh god, Clage, don't die. Oh, they, so they were just ready for modern gaming. That's all. Jesus, tink. that was a... Tink, 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 tink. tink. Got him. All right, we did it. Now we go to the other place. Oh, fuck. all that time waiting! You could have went through that castle like ten times. Yep. Uh, all right, north, north until the palette is white and there's no lag. Still just such a <laughs> such a nonsense. Scorpion, thing. please. Oh no. Lol said the scorpion. Lamau, <laughs> <Lamal, laughs> I guess. <laughs> the encounters have been pretty favorable, except for the spider of all spiders. Yeah. King of the hero, castle. Hero spider. Who beat the tar out of me for 15 minutes. Yeah, he did. Yeah, we only had one one Pots and Pans and one Pots and Pans brother. Oh, Mrs. Pots and Pans, though. No, thank God. That monster is terrifying. <laughs> it's even worse than the DOS version, because it sounds like even more audible. Yeah. Oh, I never would have played this game as a kid. Not because of how terrible it is, but because it would have scared the shit out of me. I couldn't have played this game because I didn't even understand it back then, and I still don't. The the nighttime stuff, I would have been like, no, I can't. I'm Can I just a puddle? Yes. All right. Yep. Someone spilled their drink. As long as we're clear. Uh, a knock. That's not... I mean, I thought I paused. Oh, I paused and summoned Mr. Pots and Pans. Oh, perfect. Good. <laughs> you needed help navigating? I'll send you where you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see... Oh, uh, it's pretty lag-free over here, so the castle's got to be... <laughs> 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 Something's off. I'm moving fast. <laughs> Excuse me. Button, please. Yes, this layout was done by, uh, by LLK. I made some modifications, so if there's anything you don't like, blame it on me. I had to move some components around. All right. So this yeah. boss. Yeah, I don't remember even why LLK. I don't even remember why you made it at the time, but I just like literally remembered seeing it once. All right, clutch. Uh, Get him. Our first MP file use. Wow, holy shit, dude. I am a god. 
Seven fortune is all we need, I guess. I don't remember if we have to recast speed or not. I like how you fight one giant dragon enemy, kill it, and then another giant dragon enemy who looks almost identical shows up and is just like, all right, good job. Yep. <laughs> you killed me. Congratulations. Here's my <laughs> stuff. Um, this way? We're actually doing really good on estimate. I think I'm going to backtrack and take the warp to the final castle, because I like oh. the warp music. Warp music's good. Good reason. I also like it warps you in real time, too. Yeah. Alright, castle. Where are you at? Not that way, apparently. <laughs> time to fix estimate. <laughs> Unfindable it, castle. Don't worry, second buying a commando will also fix estimate. <laughs> Where the fuck is this place? This place has roads going everywhere except to the castle. Mm hmm. Magic unlock. Do I remember where to go in this place? You know the answer to that Just question. <laughs> let muscle memory carry me. Get out! No one can enter here without permission. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Get off Clutch's lawn. So for some reason, there's there's a healing circle on the floor there, but it only heals the priestess. Huh. Yep. The prince's room is beyond here. Um, but where? There he is. Oh, that's right. This is the lazy ass that just sits in his fucking chair and swipes at you. Got his priorities straight. I love this mm -hmm. guy. He's playing his imaginary drum set. Jesus Christ. Fucking got him. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I've gotten three kills in one potion use. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't fuck with Kludge. <laughs> Kludge is a monster. Kludge is still Kludge. just... Just mad at having to farm for torches. <laughs> I have places to be. Pew pew. Bam. Shows up to the gunfight with two bullets. You got Omega drunk off the And kills potion. three of them. <laughs> Fortune 7 OP. Caveman. Go. That's a caveman? Yeah. It's made out of a caveman. Cave? Go home. I don't want to go to your house for dinner. Your cooking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but I made a famous mud pie. Go away. <laughs> go. <laughs> So I think there is a warp over here. It should be at the end of this road. Nice. Let's crank this music. I forgot about this. Hell yeah. Meanwhile, the horizon trips balls in the background. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the warp takes like 10 days. We're all dead. We died of hunger. On the yeah. trip. <laughs> Died on their way back to their own planets. Yep. This is such a great track. Yeah. It's like they made music like this, and then they make the music where it's just a fucking sound effect, and they pitch it up and down a few times. Yep. This track, the character creation music is amazing. The title screen music is good. And then the rest of the game is just like, oh shit, we forgot. All right, get the interns out of the cage. <laughs> get your trombone and plunger mute out. It's time to make music. <laughs> yeah. 
you kids seen Charlie Brown before? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Mummy? Oh, hey. Mommy? I've never seen this enemy. Yeah, I... This another? I... <laughs> You're welcome. I, I don't yep. remember him. I feel like I've seen him. But... <laughs> no, no. Go. Home. Like, hey, you going to Caveman's party later? <laughs> The, the question is if we see the Chimera again or not. <laughs> that. Alright, here we go. I'm facing east. West, I mean. I can go in! Huh. Nice. Wow. I'm scared. Things are working too well. Yeah, I know. You say that, but he couldn't find a torch. Like I said, things are going too well. Oh shit, what button works here? Left? Always left. Um, just gonna randomly pick doors here and hope we find our way to the exit. Seems like the right way. This is a paralysis dude? Yeah. So I left Murph at the start of this dungeon, because I don't want to take him with me, but also because then I can do this. And switch the active party member and it unloads the room, so uh, he doesn't shoot at me. Beautiful. He's the dude that doesn't do damage, he just paralyzes you and then he gets stuck in place and you have to watch him dance. Alright, alright, Clutch. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. Take a world record just because everything's gonna die in one shot. I have become as gods. <laughs> just absolutely smashed. <laughs> Mommy, go, dude. I couldn't find torches one day, and then I decided to take out my rage on the entire world. That is when I became the villain. <laughs> Alright, well... This might be a PB. <laughs> I, I think my PB is like 111. Oh my god! <laughs> Went out of your way to take the detour. Yeah, yeah. took the long warp, had to wait outside Dawn Castle for maximum time. It scrambled for ten minutes to find out how to light the fountain. Well. Well. We beat the game, I guess. Absolutely smashed. We beat it without ever getting the most common drop in the game. Yeah. How many, how many fucking potions did you take? One. One, the entire one total. Game? One total <laughs> potion. I had six, <laughs> six stacks of seven, and I used one single potion. <laughs> oh, sorry guys. I've got a really low uh, luck stat, and this spell doesn't hit real well. Pew pew, uh, bang. <laughs> Maybe seven luck is actually like the secret number for max luck. Yeah. You just gotta give all the best strats to the dead person and then you're gonna go. <laughs> yeah. Alright, cool. Well we beat estimate by a lot. So that's good. You that means PB'd. that I can I can spend twenty extra minutes on buying a commando two. Uh-huh. Now return to your own world. Oh god, this game is always a trip. It was a really Definitely strange something. encounter lock. It was like six spiders in a row, five of them killed me. Yeah. Uh, five cavemen in a row, four mummies in a row. Two pots and pans. Yeah, the pots and pans are usually pretty common. Um, Pots they didn't and Pan's break brother, my though? stuff. What's that? Pots and Pan's brother, though? Yeah, he shows up, too. He's he's a pretty common one. Pans and Pots. Didn't get Pans any dragons. 
All right. They saw what, they saw what I was doing to the other you only dragons. Got, they yeah, were coming out. Oh no shit. <laughs> I think you only got two constellation dragons too. Mhm. Mm there are two constellations and one random, random worm guy in the desert. Yeah. All right. Um. Oh yeah, the fucking electric guitars in the desert. Yeah, because... I got three guitars. I <laughs> don't know what causes them. I thought it was but... like based on the number of players that are alive, but three. I count as two people. I don't... <laughs> I'm one, and my luck stat is the other person. Mecha's stats are so high that he counts as a playable character when he's dead. There we go. Um, I guess I need oh. to refill water and then we'll get Biocom. Yeah. Going. I I forgot More about wake up juice uh, is going to be required here. I forgot about the other thing where like I think my character was able to attack while I was dead. I mean, that's a known glitch with the game. Glitch? That's not really well understood, but I thought that was a feature. It's just spooky ghost mode. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, the Arthur glitch is. Um, if oh yeah, it was Arthur. Yeah, I think he has to be in slot one. Um, but it's if you're fighting someone who uses projectiles, every time you use the heal spell, the player player one gets a swing at the enemy. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. So. If you if you have a dead player one and there's a constellation monster, you can just like sit in place and mash heal, and player one will take swings at him. But yeah, the first time that happened, I was like, my dead party member hit a constellation monster with a sword. Yeah, didn't it level him up and then <laughs> yeah. revived him while he was still yeah. dead? <laughs> yeah, killed him, got experience, and leveled up, <laughs> and then oh. walked on screen. Like, hey guys. <laughs> All right. Oh, well. So what a game. This game now. The game. This. This. Uh, this. I hope everybody enjoyed that because that's the best performance I'm going to give this entire marathon. Yeah.